If your FaceTime is showing an activation error message when you try to activate it on your iPhone, then this video is for you. This issue may be caused by network issues, incorrect settings, or problems with your Apple ID, which prevents you from using the app to connect with others. But don't worry, this guide will provide you with the effective solutions to help you activate FaceTime successfully. Let's get started. Solution 1. Check date and time settings. Incorrect date and time settings can interfere with FaceTime activation. So open your phone settings, tab general, then scroll down and find this setting called date and time, and then just tap on it. Now in here, make sure that set automatically is toggled on like this. You can also toggle it off and then back on again for the setting to refresh. And after that, check your issue. Solution 2. Enable FaceTime in settings. Ensure that FaceTime is enabled in your device settings. Open your phone settings, then scroll down, tap apps, and then scroll down and find the FaceTime app from here. Once you have found it, just tap on it, and then make sure to toggle on FaceTime like this. If you have it toggled off, simply toggle it on. And after that, ensure that you are connected to FaceTime with your Apple ID or your phone number. You'll need either of these two to enable FaceTime and use it. Solution 3. Sign out and back in. Refreshing your Apple ID settings can resolve activation issues. So if you're still facing problems, then go to your phone settings, tap Apple ID, then scroll down and tap Sign out. And once you're done, restart your iPhone. After restarting, sign back in. After signing back into your Apple ID, check your issue. Solution 4. Enable Background App Refresh. Background App Refresh is required for your apps to run properly, so make sure it's enabled for FaceTime. Open your phone settings, tap General, scroll down and find Background App Refresh from here. Then tap on it, and then tap on Background App Refresh once again, and ensure that it's selected for Wi-Fi and mobile data. Once you have made sure of that, let's go back and find FaceTime app from here and make sure it's enabled for background app refresh. After that, solution 5. Offload FaceTime. If FaceTime is malfunctioning, offloading the app can help. Open your phone settings, then tap General. Then tap on iPhone Storage, and from here, find the FaceTime app. Once you find the FaceTime app, just tap on it and simply hit Offload the app and confirm the action by tap on Offload app and simply reinstall the app from here. This will get you back to your app without deleting any of its data, but it will also offload the app and hopefully fix the glitches. But if even that did not fix your problem, then you can try one last solution. Solution 6. Reset all settings. Resetting all settings can fix misconfigurations without erasing your data. Open your phone settings, then tap General. Scroll down and find Transfer or Reset iPhone. It's usually in the bottom of this page. Then tap on it, then tap Reset and hit reset all settings. You might be prompted to enter your passcode, so simply enter the passcode and hit reset all settings from here. After resetting all the settings, your Wi-Fi password and wallpaper preferences will be deleted and some other settings, but it will not delete any of your main data. But after this, your activation error should be fixed. So guys, that's how you fix this FaceTime problem on your iPhone. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to give it one a like and subscribe to this channel for more useful solutions. Thanks a lot for watching.